Hello everyone and welcome. It's Hugh here at Loxon and I'm here with another one of our focus series webinars. So we always like to look at a particular topic or a particular function block or a particular use case in Loxon. Now we're going to take a quick break over our V11 features to take a look at a subject which it's not the most glamorous subject in the world, it's not the prettiest subject, but it's one that we need to tackle anyway when we want to do a nice house with locks on, and that is bathroom ventilation. And so what I mean by this is I'm not talking about a full-on house MVHR ventilation system. If you'd like to know how to control them, please take a look at a focus webinar I've already done with MVHR control, where I've integrated it through Modbus. What I'm talking about here is our bog standard bathroom extract fan that we would want to trigger through either getting bad smells out of the room, because you know we all poop, or getting extra humidity out of the room. Now, there are several ways of doing this within Config, and I am forever seeing different people's ways of doing it. So what I've got here is I have got just a bog standard config file. This is just a config file. I just pressed auto config on to get me my rooms and my basics. So I've got on the bathroom page here, a lighting controller and an intelligent room controller. Now, when we get ourselves a bog standard bathroom extract fan, now I wouldn't really consider, I mean, I might consider getting ones with built-in humidity um, sensors, but, and built-in overrun timers, but to be honest, save yourself a bit of cash, let locks on handle that itself. And so <clears throat> what we really get when we buy a normal extract fan is it'll be single speed or variable speed. And so that usually means one or more relays. So if it's single speed, it'll be a single relay. So toilet extract fan. If it is um, dual speed, so two speed, there'll be basically two switch lives on it. One switch live will be for the, uh, the low speed and then you'll have the second live for the high speed. So those are your different options. Let's start with just a single relay for a single speed fan. So toilet extract, remember to give it a category. Oh, here's a good question. What category would make the most sense? Ventilation. And remember to give it a room. I'm big on names, rooms, and categories. And so there's our toilet extract fan. Now option number one, and I quite regularly see locks on partners doing this, is to actually tie it into the lighting controller. And then in the lighting controller, have that toilet extract as a switch circuit and have it come on with maybe all of the moods, maybe except the mood that comes on at night time. So that relaxing mood, maybe that's the only one it doesn't come on with. That's option number one of doing it. Quite a simple, straightforward way of doing it. And so now anytime motion is detected or the lights turn on in that room, the toilet extract fan will come on, except when we're in nighttime. So that seems like it could work. For me, there's a couple of problems with that. The first problem is explaining to the customer that their extract fan is tied into their lighting controller and therefore, if they create any extra lighting moves, they'll have to remember to tie it in. Uh, the second issue with that is if I do go to the toilet at night time and I'm in there for maybe 10 or so minutes, I'm probably doing something which I don't want to be lingering around until the morning for. And so I probably would want the toilet extract fan to come on if I was in there for a significant period of time. So in my mind, I would actually generally tie it in with just pure straight up motion. And we actually have a function block designed specifically for this purpose. Funnily enough, it's called the toilet ventilation controller. It's not visible in the app because it doesn't need to be. It just is. And then what we have is we have QA, which is on when sessions active and QF, which is the fan output. And so you would take your relay and you would stick it onto the fan output. Then you would take your motion sensor and you'd stick it into the motion input. You've then also got the option to manually turn it off. And so we could tie something like the leaving room into the reset. So we could manually turn that fan off with a double click in the room. You also have the option for a DIS, which as you can see, some 
things don't always make it through translation. I can guarantee that I have put it to the translation string, so it should be translated in the next version. But DIS disables all inputs. And so what we could do with DIS is we could take something like our night mode. There we go. And that could go into DIS. And the great thing about this toilet ventilation controller is the parameters, because we can specify a start delay and how long the fan remains on for after no motion is detected. And so what this means, if I just set this down to five, because I don't want us to be waiting around all day watching it in simulation, and maybe set this to 10, what this now means is that when we walk into the room, five seconds after motion is detected is when the fan will come on. There we go. And then the fan will stay on. And then when we leave the room, 10 seconds after we leave the room, the fan will turn off. And wait for it, there we go. So that's the beauty of this function block. So you can have a 30 second start delay and maybe a 180 second overrun. The great thing is though, is that double click when you leave the room would be a manual toilet extract fan off so you could still manually turn it off. And of course, we can disable it at night time. So the toilet extract fan is brilliant for that. And I would consider just having a toilet extract fan always in there anyway. Now, if we get onto this idea of maybe a low and a high speed, or, or maybe even not, maybe it is just a single speed fan. What we've got here is great for any potential smells in the room, but we have another alternative way of doing it, which could be proactive methods of fan speed control. Because I would hazard a guess that in your bathroom, in your shower, your shower is behind a shower screen. And therefore, when you are in said shower, the motion sensor may not be picking you up. And so there is the high likelihood, depending on the parameters you have here, that this fan speed could actually turn off while you're still in the shower and therefore the fan isn't running. And so, again, we could alter this by maybe creating our own little bit of logic. So maybe if we took the, the T5 that's in the bathroom, we could take the humidity out and we could put that into something like a threshold switch or a two position controller. So two position controller could work well. That into there, which is the actual input. And then we could say that the target value would be, oof, I don't know actually, sorry, to not two position controller, threshold switch would be much better. So threshold switch, actual value in there. And then we could say that it would turn on when our humidity rises above maybe 50% and it would turn back off when the humidity drops below 40%. And that could then be our high speed. So then our humidity is triggering that high speed output. So that would then be our low speed. And the humidity could then be our high speed. So that is then killing two birds with our one stone. We've got the general ventilation rate when we're just using the toilet, and then we've got the high ventilation rate when there's humidity in the room. Now, something I would just point out, humidity sensor built into a touch switch will always have a slight delay on reading because the humidity has to get through the housing of the switch. And so if we think about this and we really, really drill it down as to what we could do if we had just an, a blank canvas to configure a system and design a system, which really we do when we're designing a new build for somebody. This is reactive. This humidity sensor will react to when the room gets humid. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could be proactive, turn on the high speed fan before we let the room get humid in the first place? And we can absolutely do that. Why don't we stick? one wire extension on this system because I would argue that most systems could do with a one wire extension anyway for a couple of temp probes for things like the manifold for mixing valve controllers and maybe a couple of probes in floor screed for overheat protection and let's now add a one wire probe and that one wire probe let's strap to the hot water pipe of the shower So 
that's now strapped to the shower hot water pipe. Let's now take that probe out and let's instead stick that into our threshold. And so when that goes above, let's say 25 degrees, it turns on and then it turns back off when it drops below maybe 20 degrees. And so now what we'd have there is proactive before it even had a chance to get humid in that room. As soon as hot water started flowing through that pipe, we can see there that our high speed fan would be on. And then when the water through the pipe has then reduced, so back down below, let's say that it turns off the high speed, but then we would come out of the shower and we would therefore trigger the motion sensor. And then as we're drying ourselves off, that would trigger the low speed. And so that would then have a three minute overrun after we left the room just to get rid of any of that remaining humidity. And so those are just a few ways that you can do bathroom extraction with locks on. As you can see with everything with locks on, incredibly, com incredibly flexible in terms of the complexity that you can go to. Um, we could even if we wanted to have a room ventilation controller in here to use the extract fan as a cooling or heating source, not that there'd be much requirement to. There we go, so we can see we're now on a low fan speed. But do as you want, but please don't ever not integrate something like a toilet extract fan. For the sake of a relay or two, please stick it in locks on. Makes a great addition to the system. The more you can bring into locks on, the more effortlessness you give to a customer, the more functionality you give to a customer. And always remember that one of the best products that I can think of, think of for a toilet extract fan would be the Nano 2 Relay Tree because it's a tiny device. In fact, I in fact have one here. Tiny device, really, really sim line. Stick a deep back box in your toilet isolator, stick it in the back box. You've got two relays on it, high speed and low speed of your two, of your two speed fan. And then the common in the middle, Vault free, so stick live on that and then it would send live out to two relays. Cool, for me, otherwise, that is bathroom extraction sorted in locks on to give us, again, just a really nice, really lovely and automated, don't have to think about it, lovely to live in house with locks on. Thank you all for joining, hope you've enjoyed. Please join me again next time, goodbye.